home in Mamelodi, east of Pretoria, will soon be a tourist destination. The National Heritage Council has honoured the house and has been given a Category 1 status to be a heritage site. Patricia Fasahi reports. Forty years since he died at the hands of the apartheid government, the memory of Solomon Galushi Mahlangu lives on. The house he left four decades ago before going into exile will soon immortalize his legacy. Once the heritage site is complete, Torres will have first-hand experience of his life. Solomon Mahlangu has been graded Category 1 National Heritage Site. A round of applause, please. The National Youth Development Agency says this will help strengthen South Africa's liberation struggle history. We are very happy. We are excited. It's a beautiful day today. And uh, uh, as the NYD, we want to say that uh, indeed we are reaching a point where Solomon Mahlangu is actually honored in a befitting manner. The Department of Arts and Culture says public consultations will have to take place before the Solomon Mahlangu heritage site is complete. We are hoping that by end of April 2019, they will be able to present that so that one man can look at that process. The Mahlangu family says the heritage site will affirm their son's contributions to freedom and democracy in the country. It, it means everything. Um, for us, uh, it's a symbol for all those uh, who fought alongside uh, Kalushi. So it is important that uh, his legacy is uh, 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 sustained. Mahlangu was a member of the ANC's military wing, Umkonto Sizwe, during the fight against oppression in the country. Affectionately known as Kalushi, he was condemned to death in 1979 at the age of 23 years old. On Saturday, his family and comrades will honor him by walking the 52 steps he took before he was hanged at the gallows, now known as the Kosimamburu Correctional Services in the capital city. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News, in Mamilodi, Pretoria.